at this point I don't even know if it's recording or not and I will see because every time I record the video I don't hear anything and then I turn it over and it's actually recording so I'm gonna assume it's recording right now how y'all doing you good that's good so it has been a while yes for everyone who has still subscribed to me even though I have not posted in who knows how long I appreciate you I recognize that a lot of videos that I did in the past um, they are now being removed the last video that was removed was my rivers run dry video um, I did that maybe like a year ago I'm pretty sure or something along that time frame and I got a strike and I couldn't post for a week and regardless they just are finding random stuff to remind me hey these are not topics that you should be talking about so what I can say is literally they're showing that the Mississippi River has run dry pretty much for a good bit of it but I didn't come over here to talk about drying rivers. Actually, what I came to talk about was life. Life more specifically in the rejection area. I've been thinking about my life for a while now. Just thinking about why I am the way I am, how I can improve myself, and I recognize that for the most part, the two people, mainly one, but the two people, which were my parents, that I wanted to be accepted by the most, I was rejected by, or I felt like I was rejected by, right? Like, of course, they took care of me. I appreciate all of the lessons that I learned from them, regardless of if they were negative or positive, I learned something, right? But me feeling rejected from my parents both of them I recognized that because I didn't recognize how severe this was and how this has been affecting my adult life after certain events in my life I became more of a people pleaser in the beginning when I was a child up to like I'll say 18, 19, I was very nonchalant. Like, I was like, whatever, it doesn't matter. I chose to just not have feelings and really just high energy about anything. Because I'm like, well, it doesn't matter, I guess, because I didn't matter. Or I thought that I didn't matter, right? And then on the flip side, after... A, events after adulthood after being on my own I ended up flipping the switch like I said and then I just became a people pleaser like I would do almost anything to please people so that in my mind okay they're good they're happy then that's that's good I'm good everyone's good I ain't got to deal with no negative emotions just that pretty much but not only is that unhealthy unhealthy for me for the most part i mean for other people it was good i'm sure you know they knew that they could count on me to do whatever it is that they wanted me to do or needed me to do for the most part and um it was just i was good to have in their pocket i'm sure however for me that's i said it was not good because i didn't have many boundaries when it came to trying to help people and I wanted people to just know that I was there for them because I felt like no one was there for me when I was needing or wanting people so my biggest goal was you got me I mean you're cornered like whatever it is you need for the most part I'm here but what about what I was feeling what about what I was thinking what about what I wanted to do right I put me on the back burner and I put me on the back burner so much that 
eventually I just took myself off the stove altogether. And it wasn't even about me. It was about any and everyone else because I didn't matter. I don't matter. It doesn't matter. But in a more not nonchalant way, in a I just want you guys to be happy because people are the resources in the world and people make everything go round. Yeah. Anyway, so I was thinking about that and how that has set me up for just how I am now today as I'm making this video. And I recognize that even though I've been strengthening myself, my mental and emotional bodies, for the most part, I still have a ways to go. But I recognize the root of my issue, my main issue of what I used to have, which was low self-esteem and no self-worth and just not being able to tell people what it is that I was feeling because they mattered more to me than me. Um... Like I said in one of my other videos, it's kind of hard to do that when everyone wants something different. And eventually, if five people are in the room and they all want you to do something different, you can't please everyone. And eventually, something's going to fuck up. You're going to fuck up. I'm going to fuck up. I fucked up in so many ways that it was just like, oh my god, no, this is the worst thing in the world. Like... I just, I couldn't even do this thing. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. And then it just became me badgering myself for not pleasing someone else when people should be pleasing themselves. First of all, take that however it is that you want to take that. But you should be, I should be focused on me and my selfishness and learning about me i'm not saying be completely 100 percent selfish and be like fuck this other person fuck these other people no but regardless of anything you got to take care of you first because if you don't take care of you you can't take care of nobody else that's just like if you don't love you you don't love anyone else absolutely true and i was not loving myself i was just tearing myself down on a daily and it was tragic and I wasn't recognizing this I didn't want to accept this but it's something that I recognize now and I know that this is going to be something that is going to somehow something something is going to happen within <laughs> I want to say the next few weeks only because it's about to be my Saturn's return and if you don't know what a Saturn's return is that is when you are about 28 29 years old and everything basically in your life is just uprooted and you just got to figure out your new foundation you got to figure the shit out Saturn is the planet of discipline. It's the planet of school of hard knocks for real. It's the planet of you need to get your shit together. And the fact that my Saturn's return is relatively soon. And not only is my Saturn's return here, everyone's Saturn's return is here. So I'm getting double this fucking energy. So, hey... <laughs> I will be 29 very, 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 very soon. So that's why I say within the next few weeks. But we'll see. I just wanted to let myself know that I am recognizing the rejection and understanding how I need to change, what I need to change. Maybe easier said than done. Maybe not. All it takes is just to do it. So 
we'll see.